Football is back in the air and kicking off the new season. The Minnesota Vikings, who've gotten their 2024 training camp underway. Zach Borg is joining us live from TCO Performance Center in Egan, Minnesota, where the team has a new look at quarterback. Hey there, Zach. Hey, Andrea. And whether Vikings fans loved, hated, or just thought Kirk Cousins was meh, his era is over after he took one final payday in Atlanta. So behold the dawning of the Sam Darnold era for now. The number three, for, the former number three overall pick with the New York Jets who washed out in the Big Apple has been given another chance with the Vikings after showing some good stretches of play in Carolina in 2021 and 22 after spending last year as a backup on the NFC champion 49ers. The catch is that most expect this to be temporary with this year's 10th overall pick, J.J. McCarthy, waiting in the wings after throwing for more than 6,200 yards and 49 touchdowns at Michigan, whom he led to the FBS National Championship last year. Darnold spoke today, and he's embracing both the opportunity to start again in the NFL and mentor a young rookie. You know, everyone learns together in the quarterback room. You know, if I can take things from JJ that, you know, he, you know, can teach me, um, I'll gladly take it, man. Like, we're all learning from each other, not only in the quarterback room, but off the field things too. Um, so just to be able to help in any way I can and be able to ask for help amongst these guys in the locker room, that's the kind of relationship that we have with each other in that locker room. And uh, again, that's, that's one of the, the great things about this place that I've realized so far. Darnold, one of the many newcomers on this team, yet we still have a couple of familiar faces, including a familiar one to South Dakotans and Augustan alum, C.J. Ham entering his ninth season with the Vikings. And we have another local link who just joined the team, Boyd and Hull Rock Valley alum and former South Dakota Coyote, Andrew Ginkle. I talked to both of them just a few minutes ago, and we will hear from them coming up live at 6 o'clock on Dakota News Now. Live at the TCO Performance Center with the Vikings in Egan, I'm Zach Borg, Dakota News Now. As Minnesota Vikings training camp gets underway, there are a lot of new faces on this year's team, yet there is a familiar one for fans in our area. Still there after nearly a decade this year, joined by another local favorite. Zach Borg has more live from Egan. How's it going out there, Zach? Pretty good, Andrea. You know, last year I joked that CJ Ham was kind of the old man on the team, which that's still relatively true. After all, he is entering his ninth season. But when he started the first couple of years he was out here, he had a lot of company in terms of having fellow South Dakotans, Northwest Islands, and Southwest Minnesotans on the team. Well, this year he has some company again after being the only one on the roster for several years. Andrew Van Ginkle, the Boyden Hall Rock Valley alum and former South Dakota Coyote, is in his first season with the Purple after five strong years at linebacker for the Miami Dolphins. As with the Duluth native Ham, the Vikings were a team Van Ginkle grew up cheering for. And with two boys of his own, the chance to play close to family in his native Rock Valley is certainly special. CJ, meanwhile, is entering his ninth year, as I just mentioned, and feeling as strong as ever, especially now that he can share the game a bit with his children as his oldest child is eight years old. It's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. And, and I know it'll be something I share with my son. Um, we know it was, you know, some of the, some of the things that we did. Obviously, um, you know, he'll he'll probably be interested in football in some some way, shape, or form. So I'm excited for those times and for my girls. I just love to sit back and just you know see what they're interested in, and you know those things are now becoming my interest as well. The Adrian Peterson days, you know, Jared Allen, all these uh, guys, um, you know, that I grew up rooting for, and um, you know, so it's a dream come true to be able to come here and to play for this organization. Um, you know, it's it's a top of the line organization and. They take care of you, and uh, it's a place that I want to be, so I'm excited to be here. And ironically, it just so happened to be family day today for the Vikings. As you can see, a lot of the Van Ginkle clan and Andrew's two boys were out with them, so certainly a lot of fun and great for those two that they can spend even more time with their families and play for their favorite teams. We'll have more with the Vikings coming up live at 6.30 as well as 9 and 10 on Dakota News Now. Live in Egan with the Vikes, I'm Zach Borg, Dakota News Now. All right, Zach, thank you. There is a lot of excitement for the Minnesota Vikings rookie class, yet the tragic absence of one looms large as training camp begins. Zach Bork has more live from Egan, Minnesota. Zach. 
Well, Andrea, it's not lost on anyone here at TCO Performance Center that Kyrie Jackson should be here with them for his first training camp as a rookie. Yet Saturday will mark the three-week anniversary of he and his two of his high school teammates being killed by a driver in Maryland who was believed to have possibly been intoxicated in an automobile accident. Now, his initial, the initials of the 24-year-old rookie out of Oregon are adjacent to the practice field. And today was the first time defensive coordinator Brian Flores and other members of the defense addressed his death. Though they hadn't known Jackson for long, he'd clearly made quite an impression, especially with fellow rookie Dallas Turner. Kerry Jackson was a real wholehearted person. That's one thing I would say about him. He was a real wholehearted person. You know, he wasn't, he was never too big to talk to anybody. He was never too big to ask a question or, you know, just get advice from anybody. You know, he was a very genuine dude too. So, you know, that was, it was, it's, it's tough. And I think he had a, uh, a bright, bright future. So it's, it, 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 it's still something that gives me a pit in my stomach. Uh, still something that I'm, I'm dealing with internally, um, you know. Like, a, like this entire organization is. Flores said he'd been watching him dating back to his college days for months on end, and he was visibly choked up several times during press conference today. The team moving on. We'll have more on the Vikings and a look ahead to the 2024 season coming up tonight in sports at 9 and 10. Live with the Vikings in Egan, I'm Zach Borg, Dakota News Now. All right, Zach, thank you. And the NFL preseason is quickly approaching. Dakota News Now is your home for the Vikings and Packers preseason games. You can watch those games on KSFY, KDLT, and Fox Sioux Falls starting August 10th.